Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just doing a little job at home today, uh, looking into an engine misfire fault on this uh, 1.4 petrol Seat uh, Ibiza. Um, basically, the engine light's on. Um, just when we have it running, just see it. Just it up. We've just got the engine light there. And when it's running, the engine's really juddering, running really rough. And it's obviously got no power at all, just off a cylinder. So we've just plugged the um, diagnostic machine in little ports just down there for the 16 pin EOB, EOBD um, but on this one today I've got PO301 uh, which is cylinder one misfire detected now I've just got um, a coil pack ready for this one really common issue sort of 95% sure this is going to fix it so I've just got one ready and um, we'll just run through how to change it and just uh, just see if it does actually fix the fault so I've gone for a Bosch one uh, if you check out the links in the description below, I'll put one of these, uh, I'll put some links to where you can get them from for some Bosch ones and for some cheaper ones as well. So. Uh, but a really straightforward job to do. I'll just run you through how to replace it and where it is. Uh, just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. Now the first thing we'll need to do is just take this top cover off and basically it's just on, It just you can just prise it up just in a couple of points one that side another one there and then as you prise it up i'll just show you in a minute but there is a pipe underneath you're just going to need to disconnect as well so that's just took the air box out of the way and it's just this pipe here you can take it off either end, but it tends to be a little bit tight on that end, so I just took it off at the airbox end there. Now, if you haven't got a, an EOBD scanner, you can just try one coil at a time trying to get the right one. Or you could sort of disconnect them while it was running lumpy uh, and just see which one doesn't make a difference. So it's a little bit tricky on these because they're not dead easy to disconnect while it's in situ. So you'd probably just have to just try swapping it one at a time. But if you've got, you can use a really simple EOBD scanner if need be, but if you have got one, it should narrow it down to the cylinder. So uh, these engines read cylinder one, starting at the cam belt end. So basically it's this coil pack here we've got an issue with. So we'll just uh, just go to the first step. And that's all we're really gonna need tool wise. It's just a fairly large flat bladed screwdriver. And this side coil is located behind the oil cap. So you just need to simply twist off, not the top piece, but the whole piece, but just grab the whole bit and just simply twist that around and get that out of the way. And then all we're going to do is just lightly pry underneath the coil pack. Just got to work it quite gently and it might be quite tight. And just try it just a little bit evenly all the way around just so you can gently pop it up and then we'll get the connector off. That's the old coil out there. Just pop that aside a minute. I'll just show you the connector. A clip bit on the bottom side of it. A standard Volkswagen connector. You just need to pull this bit back. And then that will just pop. You'll hear a little click. And then you can just simply slide it off. So I'll just pop the new coil in now. Just pop the airbox back on. And then we'll try that. So straight away, really smooth now, definitely back on four cylinders. Before, if you're looking at the cover, it was really good in about. So it won't uh, self-clear, or it shouldn't do, it won't really self-clear the engine light. 
just gonna have to play through that quick now and just strike it up but that should uh, should get that out as well just clear through clear that out quick so now i've done that the engine lights out as well so yeah just a really quick fix just thought i'd share that video tonight in case it helps anybody out there so and um, check out the links in the description below there's links to um any of the tools used and the parts as well but yeah thanks for watching and see you next time